Today we're going to be making Fallout Nuka Cola Quantum. These are so easy to make and they end up only costing a few dollars each. You're going to need this berry lemonade soda from Jones, some Mod Podge, a paintbrush, scissors, and of course the Quantum labels. Now the soda you can actually find at your local Dollar Tree along with the Mod Podge and the Quantum labels we found on a shop that made these on Etsy. And then we have these printed at our local FedEx Kinko's. We used a glossy cardstock, so that way they were bright, vibrant, and easy to work with. Once you have your labels printed and cut, you're going to need to remove the Jones label off the bottle. These are pretty easy to remove, but it does leave a little bit of a sticky residue. So you're going to want to take that off, um, especially if you're a perfectionist like we are and want them to look as, a, as authentic as possible. So we ended up using a little bit of this Goo Gone and we just scrubbed it until the stickiness came off. Um, you can also take like a steel brush and rub off the rest of it like we did and then just rinse this under some warm water with a little bit of soap. Allow these to dry and they're good as new. So once you have that done, you're just going to start attaching your labels. We are going to use the Mod Podge glue to attach the bottle cap label and um, you're just going to use this just like this, honestly. It's really easy. The Mod Podge ends up drying clear, so if you wanted to use it around the edges like we did just to help prevent the label from lifting, you can do that. So you can just paint the edges and then let it dry, and it will dry matte. Once you have the label on top attached, you're going to add the front and back labels for your Quantum Soda. And we're doing the same thing here, just adding some Mod Podge to the back side of the labels. You can use a paintbrush or you can kind of just smear it on like this. Even use your finger if you want to. And then attach it to the front. Side note, don't put the label too far down on the bottle. Put it up higher because I do not recommend throwing these into a large cooler. It can ruin the labels. Instead, we used a shallow pan and put ice into the pan and then put these basically facing straight up. And we had already had these in the fridge overnight, so they were cold, but that way they just stayed cold throughout the party. And it worked out really well, and these were a huge hit. So I know you can buy these online right now. They are expensive, though. I'm seeing them go for $30 for a four-pack, so you can actually just make these yourself. Again, very budget-friendly. These end up being really cool props for any Fallout fan, and also double as really cool drinks to serve at your next Fallout party. So there you go, and if you want to see the full tutorial, it is on my blog.